Hey guys, Chaps here. In case you haven't noticed, the frequency of our content here has declined a bit. Don't worry, we're still making stuff, just not as quickly as we would have liked. In today's video, we're going to be talking about stats. More specifically, drop rates and gear packs. A few months ago, I joined up with a couple forum members and we developed a pretty cool tool. The tool is focused around getting the stats of gear packs and getting that data to the fans in a neat, organized way. Broadband did most of the initial database work, and TensorFlow did a majority of the input scripting that I'll describe in a bit. Alright, hold up a minute. I just want to let you guys know I recorded this back in early May, so it's been a while. The page has received a few updates since then, and the June update brought along some modified RNG stats. The sheet is still working, but just be aware that the exact stats shown in this video may be a bit dated. Okay, now back to your regularly scheduled programming. So to start off, let's take a look at the tool. I know most of you are only interested in the results, but here's a brief rundown of how things work. We set up a database of all possible cards and various stats about these cards. This page is crazy, and I would never expect anyone other than those of us who are editing the tool to access this page. Next, we have a tab for each type of gear pack. This started out as a manual process, but thanks to TensorFlow's awesome script, it's now all automated. By downloading the script that's linked below, you can install the Chrome plugin that will allow you to help contribute. The more people that we have using this app, the more accurate our results are going to be. As a quick disclaimer, this app requires you to be logged into the forums in order to buy packs, and because of this, TC can't officially endorse the script, but it's a pretty short script and it's open source, so you can easily see that it's clean. So if you install the script and you go to the Gears of War webpage on Chrome, and you start getting packs. You can use real money or credits, it doesn't really matter. This tool is automatically gonna take the cards that you get out of those packs and transfer them over to the Google Sheet for us. So this is great, but what does this get us? Well, let's start off with the dashboard as we call it. Here, for each pack, you'll see a breakdown of the rarities, card types, scrap, and much more. As you can see, we've got some excellent visuals to help you understand the results. While this page is awesome, Let's take a look at the sheet that I personally find to be the most helpful. So here we go, the overview tab. Let's start with the top. As you can see, we show how many of each pack was opened, the cost, the average scrap per pack, and the average scrap per credit spent. This last one's important, as it tells you which packs give the best bang for your buck when it comes down to scrap and credits. Now let's skip over this next section here and look down here. Here we have the number collected. This categorizes every card type and shows how many have been obtained in the various types of packs. Moving down further, we can figure out the likelihood of getting any of these types of cards in a pack. So this can be pretty useful if you're trying to get a certain type of card. But let's go back up to the top section that we skipped. Here is where the really important stuff is. This tells you which pack is going to be most efficient to get you a certain item. For each type, you can see that the highest chance per pack is highlighted in green. Let's take the Sentry Capacity Horde skill, for example. This is a rare horde skill. As clearly shown by this chart, the Operations Pack will be the most efficient way to get this card. Here's another way of looking at this. Let's look at the example of rare weapons. Down here, you can clearly see that the Elite Pack gives the best chance at a rare weapon. This is followed by Operations Pack, then the Versus Pack, and lastly by the Horde Pack. So by this logic, the Elite Pack would get you a rare weapon the quickest. But wait. The Elite Pack costs 2,000, which is way more than any of the other packs. Let's go back up to the section that I showed earlier. Once you account for credits, you see that the Elite Pack is actually the worst pack, and the Versus Pack actually becomes the most reliable for getting one of these rare weapons. It's not just about which pack will get you the thing in the fewest number of packs, it's also about the number of credits that you spend on these packs. Another thing to note though, is let's use the Rare Horde skill for example again. While we show that the Operations Pack will be the most efficient way to get that in terms of credits, note that you will be getting a bunch of other cards if you just keep buying Horde Packs. So while the Operations Pack will be the most efficient way to get that one card you're looking for, you're going to stockpile a lot more cards if you start using the Horde ones. So it's really down to what you're trying to do. Are you trying to find that one specific card, or are you just hoping to get that one specific card but you'd like to stockpile a bunch of other ones in the process? Alright, so let's take one last jump back over to the dashboard. As many of you may recall, in a bunch of my recent posts and videos, I talked about the drop rates as seen in the packs. This page has been the source of a majority of my arguments. 
It's tools like this that allow us to accurately track stats and allow anyone interested, like myself, to dig through and look for trends. I'm really glad that we did this as it really does help shed some light on some pretty hot topics. As you can see, this spreadsheet has a ton of great results for people to check out. We hope you guys consider downloading the Chrome extension to help us get even more results, but if you're not comfortable with that, that's completely fine. This page is open to anyone to view. Anytime a new pack comes out, just hop over here and you can see the results updated in real time. Alright, thanks to those who stuck around to the end, don't forget to check out that stats page. Even if you don't contribute, just check it out, there's some really cool stats there. It's all linked down below. Also included in the link below is a Discord link, where we have a channel dedicated to app developments like this. So if you want to use the app and give some feedback, go in there and let us know. If you found this video helpful, be sure to drop it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I mean, come on, what are you waiting for at this point? So, thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Thank <laughs> you.